Imagine waking up one morning to find your own hand is no longer listening to you. This is a real scenario that some people have had to face. Alien hand syndrome is a rare neurological condition where a person's hand performs deliberate actions without the person's conscious control. The hand touches, points, or even manipulates objects while the person is mentally powerless to stop it. People often describe it as if the limb has its own intentions, personality, or will. What people report their affected hand is doing ranges from frustrating to frightening. People will get alien hand syndrome when communication breaks down between key regions of the brain, usually because of a stroke, trauma, brain surgery, or degenerative disease. The brain still sends commands, but the part that creates the feeling of, I chose to do that, goes silent. People report their hand unbuttoning shirts they've just buttoned, snatching objects away, throwing things across the room, or rising into the air like it's being pulled by invisible strings. Sometimes things even get violent with the offending hand slapping the victim's own face or even choking themselves, and not in the kinky way. Sufferers of alien hand syndrome often feel like the hand is being purposely controlled by some other force, or as though it has its own individual consciousness. Because of this, many people will stop recognizing the limb as their own. The medical explanation is that it's caused by misfiring neural pathways. When you decide to move your hand, huge networks of neurons in your brain fire together, coordinating the motion. But in alien hand syndrome, that network breaks. Only isolated pockets of neurons activate while the rest stay silent. The result is a hand that moves, but without the normal communication that tells your mind what it's doing. But of course, with a phenomenon like this, there are other explanations as well. Some people believe some sort of external force or spirit has come to control the hand and taunts the person purposefully, like some big practical joke. Remember when the bigger kid would grab your hand and make you slap your own face while saying, Quit hitting yourself, quit hitting yourself. Yeah, um, I, I don't remember that either. <clears throat> uh, another proposal is the split consciousness theory. The idea that within you is actually more than one consciousness and the brain trauma or injury suffered enables one of those other consciousnesses to grab some control. Some cognitive scientists have actually speculated that alien hand syndrome reveals multiple competing selves within the brain. And things get real psychological with the shadow self theory, which postulates that the alien hand is just manifesting subconscious thoughts, the real impulses the conscious mind represses. Whatever the cause, alien hand syndrome is something that would be incredibly frustrating to deal with. Imagine living moment to moment fearing what your hand might do next.